Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles of Caging and today we are giving you seven tips of things to do when you get your first new ball python. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today we're going to be walking you through your first week with your brand new ball python and we're breaking it down into seven steps for you. Before you've even gotten your brand new baby, make sure you have everything set up, dialed in, and totally ready. What I mean by that is make sure you have a cage, make sure it's the appropriate size cage for the baby that you're going to be getting. You have the temperature dialed in. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky and it could take you a couple of days of constantly checking and adjusting depending on how you're heating that enclosure to make sure that it's perfect for the new baby. Again, make sure the humidity is dialed in make sure you have hides make sure you have water make sure you have everything ready before the baby gets here that includes things like make sure if you have other ball pythons you're keeping this one quarantined so you're keeping it away from your other animals make sure if this is your first or let's say this animal is specifically eating frozen or live or you're getting one from a show and you don't know which one exactly you're getting so you don't know what you'll be needing make sure you find some local breeders of rodents make sure you've decided Let's say you want to breed rodents yourself, make sure you've already got that up and running and started. Make sure you've got all that kind of stuff, especially for food, because depending on where you're located, it could be kind of difficult to find exactly what you're looking for. Let's say you breed rats and you find a new baby that you really want, but it only eats mice. So make sure you have a plan for all of that type of stuff. We always tell everyone, make sure you do not use a glass fish tank. Fish tanks are for fish and reptiles need reptile enclosures. Make sure you have a PVC cage, a Sterlite bin, or something that is appropriately sized for your animal. Number one, you just got your brand new baby home. The first thing I'm gonna recommend is get that baby on paper towel. You wanna be able to start them off on that instead of, let, let's say, gaps bedding. The reason why is now you can really monitor that animal. You can check and see if it's really drooly, which could be a sign of a respiratory infection. You can see if it has, for example, mites. You, you can also check to see how it's going to the bathroom or if is having any issues. When you get a new baby home, there's nothing wrong with getting them a mite spray treatment. It's very cheap, very inexpensive. There's a ton out there, so if you have one, especially if you go to a reptile show, a place you've never been before, or if you have other reptiles you don't want to cross-contaminate, it's very easy and simple to give them a couple sprays, remove the water, spray them down, let them sit for about an hour, put the water back, make sure you only have a little water so they can't soak and rinse it off. The next day, change the water, and there you go. Just in case there was any issues or mites, now now you have that treated. Now that they're home, make sure you give them a really good check over if you already have been. For example, if let's say you're looking for mites, there is a slit under their jaw. Mites like to hide in there. They like to hide underneath scales. So sometimes if it's a darker snake, it's very difficult to see. Sometimes they're very small mites and the snake actually has to turn its body a certain way for the scale to move for you to see. Make sure you really thoroughly check out that baby because once you put it in its enclosure, you're going to want to leave it alone for that first week minimum. Now number two, where are you buying this snake from? Are you going to a local pet shop? Are you going to a breeder and you've already known which animal you're getting? Are you going to a reptile show? buying something that you really don't know what exactly you're gonna get, you just have a thought in your mind or a price range. Depending on where you're buying this animal, make sure you know things like that person's social media, that person has a website, whoever you're purchasing from. So if you have questions along the way, you can contact them. Make sure you also spend a minute talking to that person. If they're super short with you, they don't really answer your questions, they blow you off before you even purchase the animal, they're probably not gonna be the best customer service once you've already purchased the animal. If you're going to something like a pet store, make sure you are very knowledgeable before taking home anything because if you have questions along the way, they're normally not going to have that many answers for you, especially specific questions about an animal that you've purchased. Let's say you buy a ball python, two months later still hasn't eaten, you call the store. They probably don't have records or know exactly that snake, what they were feeding, especially if they had multiple. Number three. Don't overstress this animal, so don't even bother trying to feed. At least wait one week. I know you're gonna be very excited, you wanna get them eating, you wanna get all that moving along, but I would highly recommend to just wait and give them at least a week to settle in. Number four goes along with that, do not overstress that animal. When people buy ball python babies from us, our first thing we tell them, which is the most sad thing to tell them, is don't touch your baby. 
leave them alone until you get them eating. So what we always recommend is if you bring a brand new baby home, you're, I know you're super excited, I know you just want to see that baby, but if you put it in its enclosure, you got it in its six quart Starlight tub, you have it in the appropriate size enclosure, you know everything's dialed in, everything's perfect because you checked beforehand, you close that lid and you leave that baby alone for a good seven days. If that baby eats for you after that, that means it's not too stressed, it's doing great and you can start handling. But if it's not eating for you, that means something's wrong. A temperature, humidity, the stress, something is bothering that animal and you need to figure out what it is and fix it before holding them. Number five, make sure even once you are holding them, you do limited handling sessions. What I mean by that is every ball python is going to be different. Some snakes you can take out all day, every day, and they're going to be totally fine but a lot of them it's going to stress them out and you can't tell they're stressed until they stop eating and by the time they've stopped eating they're way too stressed they're too overwhelmed and it's going to be a lot harder to fix it so don't overhandle the animal especially if you have a baby sometimes they're going to be snippy because they're terrified you are a big thing holding them in the wild they find somewhere nice and quiet they hide in there and that's what they do for about the first year of their life so the first year with you Expect them to be hissy, snippy, hide in a ball, be nervous. It's going to take them a little while to come out of their shell and to realize that you are not there to hurt them. It takes time. All snakes are totally different, so be okay with the fact that your baby might not warm up to you for the first couple days, first few weeks, first few months, or even the first few years. One of ours was an albino pied. I've got her now, and she's about nine, nine and a half, and she is the best girl ever. But for the first year, every time I'd walk by her enclosure, she would actually strike at me because she was just so not nice. She was just very snippy. I could not even dream of holding her. She just was biting everything all the time. She was awful. And then as soon as she hit about two years old, everything turned around and now she's one of the sweetest girls that I had. But keep in mind, this is a slow process. You could have this ball python for 40 years. So if the first year or two you can't do too much with it, don't stress. Just know that that's part of having a ball python. Number six, when they're in shed, make sure you don't bother them, especially if you are going to feed them, stuff like that. What I tend to do is I go and I peek at all my snakes and see if any are into shed. And if they are, I'll put a little tag on there to skip feeding for that week. You don't want to try to force them if they're in shed. They're not going to really see it. They're not going to be able to sense it. And because they're so vulnerable, they really don't like to be bothered. Definitely don't hold them when they're in shed. If, for example, you have a larger enclosure and your baby ball python is just not doing very good, the first thing I always recommend, if your heat and temperature are good, you've got tons of hides, if you are not using a very small enclosure, then that might be stressing out that snake. The number one thing that I see when people contact me asking about snakes that they've gotten from other people is how big of an enclosure they have that animal in. So make sure you're doing your research and you're doing the appropriate size cage for that animal. Now number seven, make sure you have that animal in a quiet room, especially within this first week of having this baby all these things, you're trying to leave them alone, you're trying to make sure that you're doing everything appropriately. One of the other things that I find is people put their snake, let's say in a living room, and you like to watch very loud movies, or you have kids that are running around, or a lot of parties or game nights, and a lot of people are being very loud, and unfortunately that stresses out the animal. So if you have a quiet room, a spare bedroom, a place where your animal is gonna be nice and quiet, and there's a lot less stressors, that's great for when they're babies. If your baby is eating, if your baby is doing well, then I wouldn't change anything. If you think you want to hold your baby more, go ahead. If they slow down on eating, they start getting pickier, then go ahead and change everything back. All ball pythons are totally different. All of them are going to be individuals and they're all going to have their own personalities. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We do new videos every week. So we'll see you guys in the next video.